Joni D and Little Joan with your Piney Podcast. All things South Jersey. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 13. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Sorry I didn't get to the Piney Podcast. You know, Christmas. Doing uh, Christmassy things. Piney things. Right, Joan? Had a big... Uh, Big family thing, and uh, and now I'm back. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to do one this New Year's, but probably we'll we'll see. Now that I'm using up all the news, kind of missed missed a few headlines here. Let's get right into it. First up, holy crap! New Jersey man charged with killing father on Christmas Eve. Ah, Merry Christmas, Jesus. Thirty-three year old man is charged with killing his father in the home they shared. Oof, this is in Morris County. Jeez. His son, Kyle Mayer, Mayer, was named the suspect. That's terrible. Uh, I think there was another article that suggested he was mentally ill. I mean, I think he would have to be, but... Oof. New Jersey woman, 74, robbed while loading groceries into the car. This is in Bridgeton. Shocker. Uh, yeah, Bridgeton, I don't get Bridgeton, like, hardly anybody lives there now, but they have all these old buildings, I don't know, I think the area is just economically depressed, it's a shame, it feels like, it feels like Camden and Bridgeton, it really does, it's kind of, kind of scary, uh, we, we gotta do something about Bridgeton Pineys, I gotta fix it up, I don't know how, I don't know what the answer is, uh, maybe more money, I don't know. Um, but, uh, I've always said criminals prey, uh, on opportunity. And if you're, if you're, if you're presenting yourself as weak, they're going to get you. So maybe consider, you know, bringing a friend, you know, safety in numbers kind of thing could help. Terrifying burglars or terrifying burglars in bedroom in New Jersey, Top news. Um, I think I, I think I archived the wrong thing. This was a story about burglars in Tom's River. So <clears throat> that's scary. At least they caught him on camera. A uh, Pensacola man charged in fatal choking incident on Christmas Eve. No, this is a completely different one. Thirty-one-year-old Pensacola man. Charged with first-degree aggravated manslaughter after allegedly choking another 31-year-old Pensacola man to death, to death. That's crazy. Uh, that's nuts. Why did he do that? It's a weird way. And it's, it's, I mean, it's weird to kill anybody, but that's particular. I mean, you gotta really grip, you know, grip down. I would imagine. Ugly sweater party turns violent at the chicken or the egg in Marlton. Well, I hate to say it, LBI, but I am not going to the chicken or egg anymore. I just, this is the last straw. I, I, I tried the original one. It was okay. I think you oversold it. After this, uh, uh, so they found a security guard had been stabbed. Jesus. Around 1 a.m., the victim was trying to stop a fight between two men when one of the combatants stabbed him twice. The knife was recovered. He was uh, in stable condition. That's good. Jesus. How does that happen? The suspect, Marcus Brown of Voorhees, allegedly tried to flee but was held when the police arrived. What the hell's wrong with you, dude? He's charged with aggravated assault and possession of a weapon for unlawful purposes. That just seems redundant. I mean, the guy stabbed someone, apparently. So, Jesus. Who would have thought? The chicken, it's a brand new restaurant. Two charged with DU, DWI after separate crashes in Brigantine. One spat at officer. Don't drink and drive, dummies. Um, and definitely don't do that. Jenner, Jenner Cortez, 23, charged while driving a 
intoxicated, careless driving, reckless driving. Again, these are just redundant charges. Aggravated assault on law enforcement by throwing bodily fluid, resisting arrest, and other traffic offenses. Uh, New, York, New Jersey man blames his DWI on the fact that the Jets suck. Listen, we all have to live with the fact that Jets suck. Um, I don't care about football at all, but even I know the Jets suck, so just get over it. Don't don't use it as an excuse. New Jersey man admits to drunk crash that badly hurt driver in Ocean County. 52-year-old Ocean County driver admitted to causing a two-vehicle crash that left a woman recovering from serious injuries more than three years later. Uh, William and Dujar of Whiting pleaded guilty. This is uh, in Berkeley. A lot of drunk drivers. Don't drink and drive, damn it. New Jersey house fully engulfed by flames uh, in Christmas Eve fire. Merry Christmas to you. Jeez, this was in Galloway. Oh, no. 400 block in uh, Great Creek Road. Well, it doesn't sound like it. No, everyone inside, including pets, escaped the flames. Well, that's good. Jesus. Burlington County Sheriff Office upgrading locator system for tracking vulnerable residents. I guess this is good because I assume you have to volunteer for it and you, you tend to be someone who's vulnerable, probably old. So maybe, maybe. New Jersey's minimum wage to rise to $15.13 an hour for certain workers. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. You're just going to get people fired, you dummies. Prosecutors oppose Senator Bob Menendez's effort to delay May bribery trial, bribery trial until July. Can we, can we put this guy in jail yet? Come on. They have really thrown him up. He is guilty as F because the Democrats aren't even defending him. You know how guilty you have to be to have New Jersey Democrats say, oh, no, not me. I mean, Jesus, the last time they defended him, I guess they said, never again. Chris Christie's next book, now you know why he ran for office, coming in February, asks, what would Reagan do? If he had 100 donuts, it should be the rest of that. Um, Chris Christie, a book? Was he paid? I, see, this is what I tell people about book publishing. It's kind of a scam. So let's say you wanted to bribe Chris Christie, but you don't want anybody to know you bribed him. So what you do is you say, we'll go to a book publisher and we'll say to the publisher, if you publish Chris Christie's book, we will guarantee you we'll buy 500,000 copies. And the publisher says, yeah, okay. And they... I don't know, have Chris Christie's book mostly ghostwritten and then he look overlooks it maybe if he does, or has one of his people do it probably. And then they publish a book and it has his name on it and he gets the standard, you know, cut, whatever it is, the publisher makes out. And the guy who wanted to bribe Christie into running just to get at Trump, oh, he makes out too. What's it going to cost him? Not that much, I think. Christie gets a couple of mil hits the best times seller list for a week and people wonder why the hell is this book on the best time seller list? who the hell's buying this that's what i think it is it's all a big scam a bribery factory because how are you going to stop it it's not illegal it's not illegal for me to go to chris christie and say hey i want you to write a book will you write it if i uh, set it all up for you and you all you have to do is say you wrote it and then you'll make millions of dollars. <laughs> Why would he say no? Why would anyone say no, quite frankly? And this is the state of book publishing. Real good. Good job, liberals. A new bill forces state energy contracts to LGBTQ-owned businesses. Ooh, I can't wait to use some of that gay electricity. That'll be fun. Uh, what the F are you doing, Trenton? This should be stopped. This is discriminatory, is what it is. And what the F is the difference? I I don't want the best gay energy company. I want the best company. 
I want the cheapest, best company. That's it. I don't care about the sexual preferences of the people who make the electricity. <laughs> you morons. Upper Township resident says mayor's Christmas message too religious. Well, there's a simple uh, solution to that. Just go to the voting next year or whatever. So what? He's religious, I assume. He said, despite the darkness in the world, we are celebrating the birth of our Savior, who is the true light of the world. Ah, he's religious. Who cares? You really care? A guy texted you? The mayor texted you? And you, oh, it's too religious. You have too much free time, Cape May, Upper Township. Uh, not so obvious things slowly disappearing on New Jersey toll road, roads. Uh, da, 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 da. Picnic areas? Oh, no. That's a shame. There's only one picnic area left in the very southern portion of the parkway. I know that area. I pass it all the time. I think I stopped one time. Yeah, that would be cool if they still kept them. But that was back in the day when there was just nothing down, uh, along most of the road. It's a shame. Um, New York could charge cars more from New Jersey, an extra $15.00. Here's your chance to act on an idea. How about not going to New York? F you, New York. Uh, so the MTA has announced four dates for public hearings. So if you want to try to influence New York, uh, who cares? Let them, let them pass that and then F you. F you, New York. Let's never go to New York again, I say. $15? It's already too much to drive across. You're going to add $15? What's it going to cost to get into New York? $50? Friggin' maniacs. I think it's Murphy. Number one, I know it's Murphy, but I think it's partly the battle between Eric Adams and Phil Murphy, such that it is. Oh, he was perfectly fine to listen to Chris Cuomo. Oh, jam all the nursing homes. Uh, full of recovering COVID patients? Oh, yeah, sure. And that's what he did, YouTube. You can't flag me for that. Um, Burlington County Sheriff's Holiday Toy Drive distributing gifts for record number of children. Well, that's nice. It's a good law enforcement story. Good for you guys. Uh, hey, don't answer calls from these New Jersey numbers. I already don't answer my phone for anybody, just about. Although, I'm sure they'll be calling me during this. Uh, da, 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 da. uh, let's see. Oh, domestic area codes known to have one ring scammers. Cleveland, Ohio, 216, 218, 330. Oh, there's a lot of them here, so I'm not going to read them all. Definitely the international ones. Who the hell would answer that? Who's going to answer a call from Sierra Leone? Oh, that must be Frank. <laughs> uh, so this is on uh, New Jersey 101. Uh, point five, if you want to memorize that list. Why is South Jersey Police Department stepped in when a local nine-year-old diagnosed with a rare brain disease? Well, that's nice, Bordentown Police Department. Helping out a, a local sick kid. Oh, he has, he has no cure for his disease. Uh, he needs a bone marrow transplant. Hmm. Well, I hope he gets it. It's a shame. Horse in New Jersey euthanized with after bout with mosquito-borne virus. Well, that's kind of scary and sad. Poor horsey. Dave Portnoy visited area pizzerias, but what does he think of South Jersey pizzas? Uh, brick coal-fired pizza in Westmont. Uh, ranked 16 in pizza joints in the world, according to travel site Big 7. Uh, he gave it a good rating, 7.9. That's a pretty good rating for him. Palermo's in Bordentown. He gave it uh, 8.5. And the cheese pizza, 8.2. Tomato pie, 8.5. Yeah, Bordentown does have great pizza. Marcello's in Bordentown. He gave it an 8.2 and an 8.5. Yeah, it's good stuff. I'm telling you, Bordentown, good place to go. Columbus Flea Market, Kate and Al's Pizza. Uh, gave it a 7.4. I think that's a little low, but uh, that's acceptable. He seemed to like it. Pete's Pizza, 7.8. Really good. Uh, pizza's great. It really is. Lillo's Tomato Pie in Haynesport, 
gave it an 8.4. We have great pizza in South Jersey. What are you, what are you going to do? And he didn't even get that far south. But the tomato pies in that area, phew, they're off the charts. Wow, you can legally own a sloth in New Jersey? Or can you? Uh, I, I should have checked this out before I made that purchase. Oh, no. <laughs> Are sloths friendly to humans? Yes, with a permit from your state, you can own one. So you can have a sloth. I don't know. They don't seem that much fun. And they've got those big claws. That, that you know. One day you let your guard down. You're kind of, he kind of clunks, clunks you in the head. I can't imagine they're sharp. But look at them. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think a sloth would be a fun pet. I don't think it would be fun for the sloth either, being a pet. Tang Asian Cuisine Audubon opening soon. All you can eat. Ooh, that's good. Unlike dogs. Like dogs, they love it. They love being around people. 16 New Jersey counties under a flood watch until Thursday evening as rainstorm looms. So watch out for that. It's raining today. Uh, so yeah, in the Thursday. <laughs> That's like the whole state. <laughs> Every day. It would have been quicker to name the state, uh, the counties that weren't at risk. Oddly enough, though, those northern counties sometimes are pretty flooded, but weird. Dollar Tree coming to Berlin, New Jersey, Bloom Circle, near Alligators. Eh, I can sort of take or leave Dollar Tree. McDonald's to eliminate self-serve soft drinks at all locations. Slowly uh, turning into a completely robot-run operation, I assume. Uh, get rid of those paper straws, McDonald's. I'm not using those. Bullhide Brewery, a Cowtown Cowboy Outfitters, looks to lasso a summer 2024 opening. In Piles Grove, this is. Okay, that could be cool. Uh, New Jersey, local New Jersey date night ideas. Ooh. I'm blowing up. I have to call you back. See, I told you. Um, taking a stroll at Cactus Island. Don't know that. Planetarium at Ocean County College. That sounds good. Boardwalk Arcades. That's always fun. I like that. The Strand Theater in Lakewood. Hosting great shows. Uh, throwing axes at Bury the Hatches in Tom's River. They're everywhere, though. Fun Bags Cornhold Lounge. Fun Bags. That's a good name. Exporting art galleries in Ashbury. Or Asbury. You mean Asbury Park? Uh, getting adventures with indoor rock climbing. Gravity Ball. No, oh, thank you. In Brick. Uh, grounds for Sculpture. Been there. Long, or Longwood Gardens. That's a fun time. Um... Activities like Golf Kings. I don't know that. Un Uniting Skates of America in Jackson. Eh, skating's okay, I guess. Making your own candles at Midnight Candle in Belmar. Meh. <laughs> Making, painting pottery at Wish Upon a Jar in Point Pleasant. That's like drinking paint stuff. That's for women. It's not for a date. Maybe a, maybe a lesbian date. Uh, T.E.O.'s Brick Oven Pizza in Brick. And LBI to Climb the Lighthouse. I guess. For me, it's movie and a diner. Uh, call me, ladies. Uh, iconic Dominic's Tavern in Belmar. Owners retire. New o local ownership takes over. Well, that's good to know. Good luck, new owners. 2023 gave uh, New Jersey a state drink, but there are eight other better options. Why? Was it that bad? <laughs> Cranberry juice is the state's official drink. Yeah, what's wrong with that? It should be. Cranberry or blueberry. So they're going to get, well, blueberry smoothie. There you go. It's one of the alternate drinks. Cold brew coffee. Uh, boost. Drink a toast. I guess that's an energy drink. Now I'm getting a voicemail. A melon ball. Stewart's root beer. That's another good potential one. Laird's apple jack. A diner milkshake. Yeah, I could see that. Coors orange soda. Another classic. Yeah, that could be. Well, what about Yoohoo? Didn't mention Yoohoo. Burger King Washington Township. Five points is open. Whoopee! Um, 
New Jersey says amusement park ride at American Dream is closed after malfunction. Not good. Shut down on Sunday. Camden Warehouse Development on Admiral Wilson Boulevard. Okay, this is a place where I'm perfectly fine you building all the warehouses you want. You know why? Because there aren't any freaking trees left in Camden. Uh, and if you're going to tear down a bunch of old houses to do it, even better. In fact, they tore down half of Camden a few years ago. Kind of improved the place, quite frankly. It's a shame there were a lot of cool old buildings there, but I'm sure there's a lot of cool archaeology to have been done, but it's too late now. It's just crime ridden. But yes, on Admiral Wilson Boulevard, there's nothing else there. Sure, build a warehouse. What the F do anybody care? Everything you need to know about finding a rubber duck on your vehicle. Huh? Uh, duck duck jeep or jeep ducking involves jeep drivers placing a toy rubber duck on a fellow driver's. Hey jeeper, you've been ducked. We hope this duck gave you a smile. Okay, Jeep people, you're a little odd. Mount E from Bar and Grill opens Wednesday. All new construction uh, local tavern. Oh, that looks like a nice place. Uh, it looks kind of like nightclub-y. Is it a nightclub? Seems weird to call it a bar and grill if it's kind of a nightclub. but So that opens today. It's got a lot of fancy uh, lights, I'll say that. Hmm. These are amongst the highest paid jobs in New Jersey. Uh, let's see. Revenue analyst, purchasing manager, sales rep, epidemiologist, superintendent, work administrator, financial advisor, chemist, chiropractor, radiologist, distribution manager. By the way, they're getting higher as I read them. Detective, chief of police. Yeah, they're very high. Attorney, application developer, Full stack developer, litigation manager, economic analyst, investment broker, product engineer, sales director, mathematician, advertising, <laughs> advertising director, God, everybody calls me when I'm doing a video, director of human resources, chemical engineer, chief information officer, head of security, director of quality insurance, infrastructure manager, podiatrist, uh, statistician, corporate development manager, Regulatory Affairs Manager, Vice President of Product Management, Chief Legal Officer, Vice President of Global Supply Chain, uh, Law Partner, Rheumatologist, Neurologist, and Nephrologist. And you won't see on this list writing about the pines. <laughs> Captain D's Casual Seafood Restaurant coming to Camden in 2024. So I guess I could show up at this place in my underwear? How casual is it? I mean... Casual seafood. Hey, uh, you didn't uh, you didn't hand me a fork. Eh, it's fine. We're pretty casual here. New Jersey man wins nearly 500k on an unlikely parlay. Well, it was bound to happen once in a while. Somebody won. Somebody won a bet somewhere in New Jersey. Hash House of Go Go in Morristown Mall announces closing effective immediately. Hmm, I didn't even know this place existed. Uh, it seems to be quick. Was this open very long? Uh, geez. It's kind of a shame. Looks kind of cool. Had a lot of brunch offerings. Ladies, you didn't support the hash of go, go Way to go. Now it's closing. Way to go, ladies. Uh, New Jersey Town running a giant M&M &M drop at midnight for New Year's Eve. This is in, uh, Hackettstown? Uh, okay. Well, in Hamilton, we have a giant blueberry. So there. A uh, new list puts only three South Jersey restaurants amongst the top 25 in New Jersey. All right. Let's see. Uh, where is it? Collingswood in Camden County. They do have a lot of good restaurants there now. Hearthside. I don't know that one. It's in Cherry Hill. Um, uh, let's see. Zeppeli. I've heard the legend. I've been dying to go. So Zeppeli, Hearthside, and June B Y O B. That's a weird name. I thought it was. I thought it was a uh, an event. 
Oh, is that in the old World Wars? It looks like it. Might be in the old World Wars. They open a hipster restaurant every few years in that spot. Um, I, they're usually really good, but I don't know. Maybe it's just hard to keep a restaurant open. Uh, the very best chicken pot pies in the Atlantic City area. Historic Smithville Inn. Love it. I've had that one. It is delicious. And that's like one of the original ones. That's like a really old recipe. Uh, where else, though? Mays Landing Diner in Mays Landing, New Jersey. Ooh, that looks good. Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill, Caesars. That does not look great. What a terrible picture. Uh, I think you needed to get a better shot of that one. Joe Italiana is Maplewood Inn. Uh, everything's good there in Hamilton. Everything's good in Hamilton. Town and Country in Egg Harbor. Another not great picture. Uh, looks like that one's in a bowl. Kentucky Fried Chicken in Pleasantville? No, no, that should not be on the list. Come on. Bonus entry, Nancy Conover, owner and vice president of the Shore Agency, Absica, New Jersey. Oh, just some local who made it? Well, I mean, good for you. That's certainly a nice looking one. Could learn something from your pictures, Nancy. Cape May Restaurant, name one of the best restaurants to open in New Jersey this year. Okay. Mayasan Blue Bistro opened on Mansion Street. So, uh, okay. I might have to try that. Brand new, eh? Uh, this New Jersey town has been named the best foodie town in the whole state. Hamilton. Should be Hamilton. But it won't be. Uh, let's see. It'll be someplace up north. Uh, Collingswood. Well, okay. I'd give it. And they're showing a picture of Sagami. I guess that's technically Collingswood. I guess that might be on the edge of Collingswood. They do have some great restaurants in Collingswood. If I had to pick a second after Hamilton, yes, Collingswood would be number two. They just haven't been to Hamilton yet, I would say. Um, seafood joint named for one of the best lobster rolls in the United States. This is the Shore Fresh Seafood Market. Where is this? Where is this? Point Pleasant. Point Pleasant. So check that out. New Jersey Women Create X-Files Documentary. New York City event features X-Files creator Chris Carter, scheduled for January 13th. Okay, sounds cool. Sounds like a fun thing if you want to do that, if you want to go to New York City. These are New Jersey's seven most picture-perfect towns. Oh, the first one, Kate May. Swedesboro. Oh, Swedesboro. Good for you. You made it. Morristown, New Jersey. Uh, that is pretty picturesque. I do like Morristown. Oh, that's Morristown. That's up north. I'm thinking Morristown. Uh, Cranberry, New Jersey. Yeah. Uh, Chatham, New Jersey. Yeah. Cape May. Oh, Cape May's not number one. What's number one? Burlington. It does have a lot of history and does get the short shrift. So glad to see you beat out Cape May. Nice going, Burlington. And finally... You told me to try this amazing restaurant in Tom's River, River and I love it. Uh, that does look good. What is that? That's like uh, uh, like a caprese with uh, with some, uh, 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 what's the name, uh, meat on it. Bread, Breaking Bread Eatery. Oh, I didn't expect that name. I expected it a very Italian name. Breaking Bread Eatery in Tom's River. Pasta Vajul. I don't like pasta visual. I know I'm a bad Italian, but I just don't like it. Too much peas. Um, but, I, but I'm liking the picture. Ooh, that looks tasty, doesn't it? Mmm, tasty things in South Jersey. And that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Thanks for tuning in to the Piney Podcast, albeit late. Not sure what I'm doing on this Sunday, but I know what I'm doing on Saturday. I'm going to Mays Landing in the Hamilton Mall from 12 to 5 at Level Up Entertainment for my big signing. It's the last signing of 2023, so come on out. Get yourself a copy of the Pineys. That's it for me. Hope to see you tomorrow. We'll see you in the next one.